road losing streak has finally been snapped with West Coast taking the four points at Adelaide Oval against the Power in a contest that swayed continuously throughout. The boys did hold a 37-point lead deep into that third quarter, but to Port Adelaide's credit, they never threw in the towel and challenged the Eagles' side until the very end. Welcome to Eagle Review, proudly sponsored by Masters. Get around it. Ben Roberts, let's start with Josh Kennedy. Quite an unusual scenario, this one. We're not even the senior coach knew until late the night before that he was playing and we boys will be sending thank you cards to Lauren all week long, you'd think. Yeah, no, he played very well considering the uh, unusual build-up, it must be said. And uh, it's a private matter, so we won't go too, into it too much. But, geez, he uh, played very well. Seven goals, we'll take that every week. I did enjoy his athleticism and he showed what he could do on ground level where he turned his opponent inside out for the final goal. Do you know what it reminded me of? Mm -hmm. It reminded me of Dean Cox at the Telstra Dome, I think it would have been called back in the day, against Essendon, uh, right on the boundary. Uh, reminded, threw the clock back and, geez, I thought a big Dean at that point. Yes, we have received the All-Staff email from Dean Cox just to let us know that that was his trademark yeah, it's been signature. It's been done before, done before. The incident that had the whole country talking, of course, Andrew Gaff, gutsy stuff, going back with a flight of the ball, vicious. What do you mean? Vicious elbow from Jonas. Took no further part in the match. Oh, that. Good spirits. He uh, will be touch and go for this weekend. I'll have to pass all protocol, but he was in a good state of mind as he came off the track and was in the doctor's office. Big thumbs up from Gaffy. Big thumbs up, and obviously you've got Peanut Gallery there talking to him and finding out that he's okay. What were you saying to him then? I was just saying, mate, I've gone back with the flight that many times that this is just bound to happen in careers, yeah. slash I've never gone in for a hard ball you little, ever. You little blokes stick together. What do you make of the West Coast performances after this incident? You thought it would kind of galvanise that they go on with it, but kind of that's where Port Adelaide got their run on. Yeah, well, uh, it's one of those, mate, it's a real circuit breaker, when, especially when the game stopped for that that long both teams you know huddle up and it does whoever has the momentum it sort of stifles it a little bit and whoever didn't can sort of regroup and yeah interesting thought it was probably Lysett's best game for the club great to do it in his home state of Adelaide just remind them exactly what they've missed out on from the big fella 13 disposals 23 hit outs 11 tackles 11 tackles doing it at ground level and a couple of goals he seems to be improving each week as the club would expect yeah the uh, the Lysett family would have been clinking the West End drafts in the stands uh, he played very well and um <laughs> He's only 23, Scotty Lawson. Now think about it. Ruckman generally, 25 or beyond is when they hit their peak and, and really come into their own as Ruckman. So there's a lot to look forward to uh, for Scotty Lawson. A lot of West Ends to come. He was in that good a form. He even knew when to drop marks to let JK go out the back. So that's the kind of touch this big fellow was in on the day. Yep. Rare form. Mm. Matt Prittis, we'll just continue talking about this bloke. He was the only 30 plus year old out on the ground. 27 disposals, 26 were contested. No one wanting to give him a cheap ball. Miles ahead of the next bloke near him, 11 clearances, just continues to rack up unbelievable numbers. Just loves it in at the coalface, Pritter, and 10 tackles as well, if you don't mind, geez, he, he just loves it inside, and he's perfect for that role, and every week he dishes it up, it's great. Probably one reason his stats are so high, these moments, how often is he handballing yeah. to himself? Yeah. Is, is that two touches? We finally figured out the secret as to, yeah, he's, he's, no, he's reached the world record for Eagles touches of all time, well now we know the secret. <laughs> Wellingham's game, impressive. The composure from the back half and clean shows how important he is to the makeup of that back six. Yep. Natanui, terrific again. Another yep. marvellous season. Talk to me about the opening minute of the game, though, because this was the trend setter. Yeah, so when you're away, you want to base, you want to start well to silence the crowd, but you also want to get on top, not so much mentally, but you just want to get on top of the other team early to not let them get sucked into the crowd and get build their momentum. And Bunga, when the ball was in dispute, Bunga's gone, nah. I'm making a statement here. He probably didn't do that, but that's what it did in the end. And just put a little uh, shiver through the spine of Boke and potentially, potentially some other players as well. So it was a good effort from the captain. A couple of other players we just want to look at here. Didn't have his best statistical game, but a uh, couple of critical spoils if you have a look here. One sets the time with the flight, very gaff-like, but uh, he ended up a little bit better than him. The other was this brilliant closing speed effort on Wingard, and if he takes that mark and converts early in that fourth quarter, it just does amazing things for their confidence, their home crowd, understated spoil that one. Who knows what happens. He's so, uh, he's just getting so reliable as a defender now, Gav. He's just settled down back. Don't worry about it, he almost played forward though, we do know that, but uh, train forward at the captain's run. But um, he's just so settled, and they and they all know their job back there, which is the best thing. Because when people are doing that and they're confident with their system, it's very works very very well. The same could be said about Shannon Hearn, who left his man in the fourth quarter for another critical contest that went over the line. Exactly. These were big moments in that fourth quarter. 
Some sore bodies out there. We've obviously got Gappy that we've spoken about. Hart that went down early for Port. What Shoulder, about, Corky. It was good. What about the, the Port bloke that almost did his ankle knee? That looked horrific on yeah, camera. Didn't look great. Oh, that was a, a shuddering one. And Hutch putting Hutch. his head over the ball. Hair going everywhere. Did not even waver if you have a look at this vision. Didn't even worry about the bloke coming near him. And he wore one. But he's in good spirits as well. And then he's, kept going. Took some marks yeah, as well. Hey, mate. Just want to hug him and tell him everything's going to be okay. Well done, Hutch. Let's go to the roast of the round. There's just a few to get through. Nick Nat to kick it off. Ben. Nick Nat early now. We know he's known for his leaping Nick Nat. He's majestic. Every footy card you see is just three feet above the opponent, just tipping it down the throat of someone. This wasn't his greatest effort. No. Bit of a clank to the head. Yep. I like this one from Sam Butler. The ball's gone out of bounds. That is clearly off butts. But how he's just appeal. He's like, that's off the knee. That's off the knee. No, it's not, Sam. You are wrong. And you can't convince him of that. The wily veteran. But we'll give it back to Wingard because he's just turned the pass over there easy as well. So we've got the double barrel roast of the round for that play there. Yep, OK. Well, what about Impy? A couple of things here. Look, a bit stiff, but we don't let anything get through to the keeper nope. here at the review. Nope. Two hands, I reckon, this one, Imps. Just, I reckon, throw, you know, it's all about trying to get in the highlight reel, but two hands, eh? And mm. uh, when you're in the goal square, now, look, Nick Nat had the same problem last nah, week. No, the, so heat, the heat maps don't lie, mate. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you got to kick them from the goal square. And one moment from around the ground, St Kilda v Essendon. Double Falcon in the first quarter. Gee, we love a Falcon here and keep sending them in. Thanks for your help. But the winner, I wonder who. Guess who? Jonas. No good, mate. No good. Righto, do you want to be a part of WA's more awesome squad? Prove it, you can win five tickets for you and mates to come to a West Coast Eagles home game. Just snap a photo of you and your other squad members, hashtag MasterSquad, and head to Masters Instagram or Facebook page to get the ultimate fan experience. Thanks for joining us again for another episode. Uh, Gold Coast, we'll be back, same time as always. Cheers. Bye.